Like and subscribe right now, or else this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Scams are everywhere. People sending emails online, people knocking from door to door in order to sell some fake bag, people calling over and over again to scam you, and don't forget ATM scams. Today, we're going to tell you about 10 insane ATM scams you need to look out for. Stay tuned till the last one, because that will blow your mind. Number 10. Mysterious Bystanders One of the foremost and extremely important things to understand is that you need privacy when dealing with ATMs. It's mostly the bystanders who cost you the most. This method of trickery involves the attachment of a false facade over the ATM machine. To you, the machine would look completely normal. However, in reality, the attachment will literally eat your card and display an error message on the screen. You might think it's just another error and you would normally try again or would be asked to try again by someone else standing too close to you. Your PIN is usually recorded by a hidden camera or in some cases by a helpful person standing nearby. Of course, this person is actually a criminal, and moments after you leave, he or she will try to retrieve your card from the false front of the ATM and walk away with both your card and the access code. You would not be able to do anything because by the time you realize it was a scam, the person would be long gone from the site of incident. Number 9. Skimmer Attachments Criminals these days have gotten smarter, and they know how to use their gadgets, so you get to know everything about them too. One of the easiest ways criminals get cash out is through attaching little skimmer devices with the ATM machines. A skimmer basically records the details of your card, and that leads them to getting the cash out of your account later. So, what can you do to keep your privacy safe? First of all, go back and check the machine, making sure there's nothing unusual attached to it. The skimmers are attached above the opening where the card is inserted, and the scammers paint it to correspond to the ATM's color, making it a difficult task to identify its presence. If you can't identify a skimmer, then look for any sticky residue on the machine, or scratches of any sort. Or, even if the machine is missing an LED, you have to take some time to decide whether to use that machine or not. Number 8. Invoice Email Scam Since this is the age of technology, anything's possible. This is a very tricky and clever way of getting your personal information out and using it to get some money out of the bank. In this, scammers would email you a fake invoice or booking asking for confirmation. Now, the first thing most people would do is panic and open the email to see who's using their card. However, by opening the email, the hackers get access to your device and to get your personal emails from the bank's or online banking information. They often opt for sending an email or a text message for confirmation, and what you can do to maintain your security is delete any text message or email you think might be too unusual or a scam. Others might call you up and sound very promising from a prominent bank or firm, asking for date of birth, account number, and other personal information. Make sure you don't fall for any of that. Number 7. Card Traps While cards might get trapped inside the machine occasionally, and you might think it's normal for that to happen, it's important to understand that this is not normal, and most of the criminals often retrieve those seized cards once you're gone. One thing you should do as soon as your card is eaten up by the machine is call your bank immediately and ask them to block your card. It's kind of hard to recognize card traps, but one must always reach out for help if that happens, even just accidentally. Bonus points for our audience, majority of criminal activity regarding ATM scams takes place during Friday evenings because a lot of people withdraw cash to spend over the weekend as banks won't usually be open. So, the next time you want to get your money, get it out before Friday and keep an extra eye out for accidental card seizings on Fridays. Number 6. Every little thing it does is magic. The most popular scheme starts when a bank customer wraps his or her debit card in a gadget that opens the door to the ATM vestibule that's usually locked in the bank's inner doorway. 
Since most people don't know exactly what this magnetic reader might look like, criminals may put a counterfeit system that reads and copies card numbers to the outside door without being noticed by customers. When the customer is inside, the secret surveillance camera records the PIN numbers as the customer enters them on the ATM keyboard. The consequence of this information gathering is the fraudulent production of a duplicate card that robbers easily use to extract all the funds in the related bank accounts as quickly as possible. Detection of this particular scam is difficult for the average customer, as there are several dozen producers of legal swiping products. It's almost impossible to try to differentiate a real from a fake, so you have to be extra careful with it. Number 5. Beware of Accidents while you're busy getting some money out of the ATM, there may be a lot of things happening around you. One of the first rules we emphasized on while starting this video was to keep an eye out for people around you. It's not necessary that your card gets stuck in the machine. Sometimes people around you can show exceptional examples of teamwork, and you won't even realize until they're gone from the scene. Some of the traditional stunts practiced by these scammers include distracting you while you're busy with the machine, and then, as soon as the cash comes out, they start talking to you, diverting your attention and receiving the amount on your behalf. On other occasions, exactly when you're about to get the money out, someone right next to you might come up to you telling you that you dropped something and take the money from the machine while you're busy thanking them. Remember, not everyone is bad, but not everyone is trustworthy, especially while you're busy getting cash from an ATM. Number 4. Letterbox Scam Most of the scammers hoard onto your personal mail from the mailbox, especially in flats and buildings with multiple mailboxes together. They take over your mail and get your personal information from there, and then continue following their own tips and tricks to get some more information if required to get access to your accounts. A simpler way would to be use online banking to pay your bills and secure your personal information rather than others getting access to your cards and wasting your money through ATMs. Number 3. Phishing Oftentimes, scammers pretend to be some prominent member of the bank and then send a very promising and original-looking email asking you to update your personal account information. The swindler would then utilize the information according to his needs and get access to your account and, most probably, part or all of your money. You should always contact your bank in case you get any call or fishy email regarding such updates, because it's always safe to double-check the activity. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. You see this green outline card slot? Well, this is not supposed to stick out or be out of proportion like this, because this signifies the presence of a skimmer. A lot of ATMs in Europe have the card slots sticking out like this, and people might not really care about it because it's normal. Well, this is exactly where we go wrong, and the criminals get an advantage. It's easier to fit a skimmer in such machines, so they must be avoided at all costs, no matter how normal they may seem. Number 1. Double Keyboard One trick that you should always look out for is the presence of double keyboards on ATMs. What most criminals these days do is place a fake keyboard on top of the original one to get your fingerprints on it and then use the pin combination later to retrieve money out of your account. Always listen to your sixth sense if you sense something wrong with the machine. Get away from it instantly and you'll use some other one. A little walk is better than getting your entire bank account hacked. Don't let a simple transaction like withdrawing money from the ATM be a way for the robbers to get the better of you. To stop scams like this, listen to the warning voices in your mind and be alert when something seems wrong. Even in what seems to be usual situations, cover the keyboard with your other hand while entering your pin. It's no joy to be reduced to tears by a crime you could have avoided. And of course, if you see a scam in motion, don't arrest the criminals yourself. Let the police deal with it. 
If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos.